guys, what is going on? Steve Lamo here. So today I'm going to be posting a really neat video to help you guys out on Black Ops 2 Zombies. If you are unaware, then Xbox One has actually just released a backwards compatible version of Black Ops 2 and it is fantastic. Absolutely awesome. I've been playing it pretty strong for the last week. The only problem I have though is a lot of people don't have any money in their bank account, which I thought was pretty odd, but it happened, so I thought I might as well make a quick video to show you guys how I get my bank account maxed out, and maybe it'll help you guys out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to slam that like button. <laughs> Alright, so to max out your bank account, what we're going to need to do is jump on the map Buried. Once on this map, you're going to need to pick up the Galvanuckle Chalk. Once you have the chalk for the Galvanuckles, draw them wherever you feel fit. We're going to need to pick them up later. This is where I suggest that you have maybe $20,000 in your bank account previous to, just so you can do all the steps on round one and make your life a lot easier. If you don't have money, don't worry, not a big deal, just play a few rounds and maybe get $20,000. Alright, so once the Galvanuckles are drawn, we are actually going to need to free the giant. He has locked himself in the cage, which to be fair, we can't blame him. It is a zombie apocalypse. So we're going to free this giant, and as you can see, he's pretty scared, so we're going to give him some liquid courage. And when we give him some liquid courage, he's actually going to break out of his cell completely. And we'll use him later on. Alright, so once you have freed your giant, your gentle giant, you're going to need to make your way on over to the candy store. Once in the candy store, you're going to be able to pick up some candy, make your way on over to the box, and the gentle giant is going to follow you. All you got to do is lock down the box by giving him the candy. Now I do, I will warn you, if you are looking away from him, as you can see I'm doing right now, it is not the right way. He's going to give you a random weapon from the box. What you're going to want to do is actually look the other way, which you're going to see me do in a second. And once you give him the candy this way, as you see me doing now, he will actually smash the box and lock the box down. The box will never move from this location. It is quite amazing, actually, if you're trying to get an Easter egg done. Okay, so remember that $20,000 I told you about earlier? This is when you're going to need it. Pretty much what you need it for is you are going to need to spam the box. That's right, you're going to need to hit the box as many times as you can until you get time bombs. This can take quite some time or you can get pretty lucky. But that's pretty much your goal right now is you're just going to keep hitting this box until you get time bombs. So that's kind of why I locked it down to just help you out a little bit and make sure the box doesn't move. Once you got time bombs, you are going to need to purchase your Galvanuckles. So as I said, that is another reason why we're going to need that $20,000 to initially start this out. But once you got the Galvanuckles and time bombs, you are ready to do this. Alright, so now that you got your Galvanuckles and your time bombs, we are now able to start duplicating your money. If you are doing this strategy on solo, I really recommend going to the candy store, getting some candy, and making a few crawlers on the map. Once you have done this, give your gentle giant the candy, and he's actually going to pick up one of the zombies. Once he has picked up a crawler, you are now able to just do the remaining steps. He's going to hold the zombie for the rest of the round, which is just going to make things a lot easier on you. Another good way that you can do this is simply by going into a two-player game and getting one of your buddies to hold a zombie while you do everything that you need to get done. This way, the zombie and the gentle giant are not going to be in your way. As you guys can see, I just simply pulled the zombie so he is not bothering my friend and he can get all the steps that he needs to get done so he can duplicate his money. Okay, so now that you're totally set up, we are going to jump into this and duplicate our money. All you gotta do is place a time bomb down in the bank and go on the back side of the bank tellers. You're gonna see two drawers with two keys in them. This is when you're gonna need those galvanuckles. What you're gonna do is galvanuckle one of the keys until you get an add message. Once you get this message, just put all of your money into your bank account. What you're doing is popping up a power up on the other side of the bank teller. As I said, it is a power up, so keep that in mind, it will despawn. Once you have put all your money into your bank account, Hit your time bomb and go back in time. Once you've done this, pick the power up and you will be stinking rich. 
I do want to stress though, make sure that you go back in time and then pick up the power up. Do not pick up the power up and go back in time. If you do this, it will just kind of mess things up and you'll actually lose money instead of gaining. So that's kind of just my video to help you guys out filling up your bank account or maxing out your bank account in Black Ops 2 Zombies. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to slam that like button. If you want to check out some more cool game videos, go check it out on my YouTube channel. With that being said, I'm going to be calling it here. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day. Adios!